guys, this is Tarot with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today I actually just want to highlight an awesome indie business. This is uh, created by Sarah Wilder of Wilder Accessories, and uh, she used to, her company's name used to be Tfel, which was the fifth element life, um, and she's kind of done a rebranding, kind of gone in a sort of different direction, but she is a wonderful creatrix like she has uh she's created like a deck she's created calendars um so much you guys may actually know her from the animal kin oracle by sarah wilder yes <laughs> so yes uh she's created an oracle she creates all sorts of things she's just I think if she isn't just, you know, creating from her heart and her soul, like, um, you know, then uh, she wouldn't be in the right place, but she is doing so well. And um, she had taken a, a break to kind of reevaluate kind of where she wanted her business to go and kind of what um, energy she wanted to put out there for, um, you know, creators and witches and, uh, you know, people like us, magical practitioners. And so she did uh, something a little bit different. She used to make, you know, necklaces and rings and stuff like that, which she still does, but she had gone kind of in a, in a different direction. So obviously changing the name of her company from the Fifth Element Life to Wilder, which is her last name, um, because it is her, um, you know, and <laughs> she gets wilder. So, um, yeah, so um, I ended up getting uh, one of the newer rings from her new collection, her new branding and uh, this is the Phoenix Rising. And so that is something that actually I am going through uh, in my life and uh, will be um, going through an even more <laughs> intensity uh, as the new year approaches. And so this is definitely symbolic of me. And actually what's interesting is because I got this back in, um, I was like June or something like that. And we were supposed to get them in like maybe August. Um, but then there was all these setbacks and stuff going on because uh, she has her artisans in Bali, Indonesia um, working on them. And so, you know, because of obviously, you know, the goings ons of 2020, um, she wasn't able to get them out to people right away. So the fact that it showed up now is actually more meaningful and more important than if I would have gotten it back in August. So I really appreciate it's showing up as late as it did because actually it's not late. It was right on time. So anyway, um, let me kind of show you the um, things that came with it. So obviously this is uh, Sarah Wilder and she talks a little bit about her uh, company back here. Uh, Wilder is an independent accessory and lifestyle brand specializing in symbolic divination talismans and tools. Um, and then she talks about, you know, they are um, brought to life by her artisans in Bali, Indonesia. And her mission is to help reunite and celebrate the creature and creator within us, with, within us through the use of tangible, practical, magical tools. And so that is, you know, something that I truly believe, you know, in my magical practice. Um, yes, I do think that the, the herbs and the crystals and, you know, that I use are important. But if it wasn't for me the creatrix utilizing those tools with the intention then that magic can't be created and so um that's you know for me jewelry is not just something pretty to wear around my neck or my ears or my fingers um i have intention actually when i wear any sort of jewelry it's not like oh what's pretty what will i put on today like no like I have certain things that I wear on purpose. And so all of her rings that actually, as you can tell, I've like, um, I wear a lot of her stuff. And actually this was my very first ring. This is my duality ring. It was the first one I ever got. And it was um, understanding the duality within me. And so it's uh, a great reminder. Um, so uh, yeah, she's, she's done excellent work. You know, I, I have, like I said, you know, a lot of them here I have, um, you know, my snakes and elephants and butterflies and, uh, you know, the new moon actually, or sorry, the full moon. And, um, yeah. So anyway, so it's a nice little thank you card from Sarah Wilder. Um, and on the back here, what I think is interesting with the, uh, care instructions. So you have your practical use and your practical care instructions, and then you have your energetic care. Um, so cleansing with plant, how to cleanse it with mineral, cleanse it with celestial, cleanse it with sound. And that makes it just so much more special. So it's not just like, oh, I bought this like pretty piece of jewelry. Like, no, this is meant for magical work. I mean, yes, I mean, you could utilize it. It's just 
pretty jewelry, but that's not how I use my jewelry. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is actually some beautiful piece of art, and this is going on my altar. Um, I'm probably going to put it in a nice little frame and put it on my altar because um, the Phoenix has really come into my life this time. I mean, uh, yes, my ring showed up at this time, but also I'm being bombarded with images of rebirth, you know, death and rebirth. Like literally the other day um, was the second hearse I've seen in a week on the same street. And mind you, I've, I've lived here for like, um, at least in this part of San Diego for, for 13 or 14 years. And I really haven't seen that happen before. Really, they don't travel on that street, really. So yeah, definitely a lot of this uh, symbolism coming in. So anyway, um, on the back, there's actually a bit of information about it. So Phoenix Rising, representing death, rebirth, renewal, alchemy. Um, so let's see, I actually want to skip down to what it says here. The Phoenix reminds us to have a deep awareness of when a cycle comes to an end, to honor it, treat it with an almost ceremonial manner, and to understand that it isn't actually the end, but rather the marking of a beginning of something new and much more beautiful and powerful. We can learn that fearing endings and change is actually going against our better judgment and that we have the power to believe in our ability to rise from the ashes of what has burnt down around us. The Phoenix reminds us to call upon our inner strength and power to be able to make the conscious decision to close one chapter and to move relentlessly forward into the next. So definitely very awesome like i said i'm gonna be putting this on the altar but uh yeah so this is the phoenix rising um so i will put a link to her shop down below if you are interested but you know me i love to uh celebrate uh indie creators and um you know small business so and especially when um they have some magical things that we can use in our practice and you know, basically to uh, bring a bit of magic into our lives every day. So actually, I'm going to be putting my ring back on because I took it off for this video and actually I took off my duality ring as well. So now I have my rings back on. I feel much better now. So that's it for me, spiritual homies. I hope you dug this. Um, you know, definitely uh, go check out Sarah Wilder shop. Um, you know, like I said, I use my jewelry for more than just looking pretty. So yeah, anyway, I hope you dug this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com. Not only do I have a lot of different types of readings, but I have my Roomba body sprays, my salves, my uh, altar pendants. Um, I also have uh, my bracelets that I make and lots of other stuff as well as my Wally's World Oracle. So yes, I also am an indie deck creator, which is why I like to promote small businesses and other uh, indie creators. Um, and I also have a newsletter on my website as well. So that's free to sign up. And I hit your inbox on the first of every month. And that's the only time I hit your inbox, but it has witchy DIYs, arts and crafts DIYs, teas that I'm drinking, channels that I'm watching, herbs that I'm using, et cetera, et cetera. If that interests you, definitely sign up. And please check out the Leon Mystery School. If you're looking to expand your knowledge uh, in the uh, metaphysics, then maybe you want to check out some courses such as Mayan Astrology. Oh. <laughs> or diving into working with the ancestors or past lives, utilizing the tarot, um, learning to program crystals or finding the connection between uh, science, spirituality and crystals, um, working on love spells with herbs and essential oils, um, all kinds of stuff. So definitely go check that out. Um, it's four week courses and you get a certificate of completion at the end of your course. It's, it's chock full of videos and audio and PDFs, and you get to meet with your instructor one-on-one -on -one each week. Uh, so that's definitely a bonus. And uh, yeah, that's it from me. So if you would like to throw a little of my way, think about joining the KWT tribe over at patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot so I can do more, create more for you, spiritual homies. All right, I will catch you later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.